Peggy 18. This this. Yes, that's right. It is Resident Evil Village scheduled for release in 2021. So, this presentation is being interpreted live into both English and Chinese. That's me. If you are interested, please visit Capcom's official TGS website or keep listening. Um, this is going to be the last section that is interpreted tonight, so just be aware of that. Now, here to tell us about Resident Evil Village are its producers, uh, Tsuyoshi Kanda and Peter Fabiano. Fabiano. Hey, good evening, everybody. I am the producer of Resident Evil Village. I am Siyoshi Kanda. And I'm Peter Fabiano, also producer. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. So, I'd be, I'll be talking about Resident Evil series information, especially Resident Evil Village. Great. I can't wait to hear what we have in store. So what would you like to show us first? So in today's uh, first segment, we'll primarily be reviewing uh, info and talking about Resident Evil Village. Uh, it's going to be uh, talking about information that we talked about the other day, mainly in the beginning. And then after that, we will have a talk segment with a special guest, Kano Eiko. That part will not be interpreted. So before we do anything else, check out this latest trailer. Oh, move! Chris? What the hell? Take him away. In life and in death, we give glory. The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Mia. Quit being so paranoid. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch and into the forest deep. It's just a local tale. If it's just looking, window shop away. Wow. 
That was a really cool trailer. Everybody's excited about it. It really stirs up the imagination. Yeah. So I can't really say that much just yet, but we'd like to talk more, more things today. So we'll mostly be talking about some basic premise uh, before we dive into the details. So, to start with, this game's story takes place some years after Resident Evil 7. Just like Resident Evil 7, players will assume the role of Ethan Winters, who's now living, uh, who's, you know, he's been through a lot. And now he's living peacefully with his wife, Mia, after the uh, events of the previous game. But uh, at that, that piece that they made gets shockingly shattered by uh, Chris Redfield, who has helped Ethan in the previous games. Wow. <laughs> Why would Chris do that? So uh, after watching this trailer, uh, I bet you're probably wondering what those guys dressed in black were up to and what Chris's motives could be. Yeah. I think that's probably the thing that I'm most wondering about. So, uh, we will have characters from Seven, Chris, Ethan, Mia, but uh, how does the events in this new game change the dynamic between these characters? We can't just go any secrets right now, but we... Uh, hope you look forward to more information. In terms of the setting for this game, uh, as the title implies, this game takes place in a desolate snowy village where all sorts of drama unfolds. In the front, uh, you can kind of see the village, but in the back, you can see this big castle-esque structure. Um, yeah, the village uh, plays a key role. You can probably call it another main character for this game. Now we have the creatures that are lying to wait to numb on unwary trailers. Uh, as we, travelers, as we saw just now, they move quite fast and they're very aggressive. And you can see here and from other places, it seems that they're holding weapons. Uh, they appear to, from what you can tell you, is they move uh, oftentimes in packs and they can be pretty hard, right? Um, if they're moving around in packs, they're probably really hard to dodge and avoid and fight. But even in this monster-infested village, there are some various revenants that players can expect to encounter along the way. Uh, what sort of events will you see? What sort of adventures will you go on with these villagers? Uh, you have to look forward to that. So you can see on the left, the bottom, this guy. During the uh, trailer, he said, you know, like, uh, it's free to window shop, basically, something like that. So maybe he's somebody who's going to sell you things? Maybe, maybe. I hope you look forward to more information. Those people on the right, those villagers, you're probably wondering what they're up to. They're like holding their hand, they're holding hands and like doing some sort of crazy ritual or spell. So I am really excited. Like what sort of things are they doing? I want to find out. Uh, this is all really exciting, but is there anything else you can tell us? <laughs> uh, I think that's about all we can tell you about today, sorry. Uh, but the other day, Pete, uh, director Sato, and the art director Takano uh, made a making of video, which is now available on their official website. So you can go check that out if you want to see more information. In it, we cover a bit about what concept and themes we were inspired by during the development process. You know, after this, we'll be playing uh, the behind the scenes footage again with, during our live talk with uh, Kano Eiko. So, unfortunately, that won't be interpreted as well, sorry. Wow, it sounds like there's a lot of information there. Uh, so next, uh, we are currently developing this game with next-gen consoles and PC hardware in mind. 
But there is also a question of how we can bring a similar satisfying experience for players of PS4 and Xbox One. We are still thinking about how we can achieve this, and you know, while we can't promise you that much, we will do our best to give uh, users of previous-gen systems a chance to enjoy it as well. Hopefully you can have some more information on that soon. Wow, there's so many things to look forward to. So I hope you uh, keep working really hard on the game. Yeah, we're doing our best. So is uh, that about it? Uh, that's about it we have for Resident Evil Village today. Sorry. Wow. So I guess that means we have uh, some more information coming in the future. But what's coming up next? That's right. Uh, well, we have the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming up next year on March 22nd, 2021. And here, we're here to kick things off with it right now. Wow, has it really been 25 years? <laughs> <laughs> wow, 25 years <laughs> I think that was when the first Tokyo Game Show was held. And uh, they're talking about... Do you know Namie Amuro, who is a pop star who was popular around that time? Uh, so she was like popular back then. So there, <laughs> it appears that our MC Atsukamoto-san, it was more of her mother's generation. And he's like, yeah, Kanda's adding that I was just a college student back then. Wow, that takes me back. So Peter is adding that, um, you know, here's some logo and artwork that we've made to commemorate the 25th anniversary. Wow, this looks great. Look at all these people. It looks like everyone's here. Yeah, in the 25 years of the Resident Evil titles, uh, Resident Evil series, we've released a total of a 141 Resident Evil titles. And we've sold uh, over 100 uh, million copies of Resident Evil games. The fact that the uh, Resident Evil franchise has been able to continue for so long is because of the enduring support of its fans. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you. We're really grateful. Wow, 140 titles? That's insane. Can anybody, can, Kanda, can you, can you say all of them? He's like, no, man. <laughs> I doubt anybody can name all 141 titles. So um, we have some more content uh, planned to celebrate the uh, 25th, the series 25th anniversary. So we also have some physical things that we're thinking about doing. So physical products that we're thinking about producing uh, to help our fans celebrate this 25th, year, 25th anniversary. So we hope you look forward to more information on this. Thanks. Well, uh, next year, so Village is coming out, and it's the 25th year anniversary. It's going to be a really exciting year, won't it? So uh, just like that, it looks like we're about out of time. Before you go, could you give uh, us a final message? Let's start with you, Peter. Thanks again for watching, and we hope you continue to be fans and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Peter, Kanda, you're up last. Thanks for watching. Now, talking about Bio uh, Resident Evil Village, I'm really sorry that we can't uh, tell you too much. But we hope that, you know, you know that there will be lots more information coming and that you're going to be excited to see uh, and hear more information coming up. And we hope that you will help uh, be with us and celebrate the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil series as well. And definitely make sure to watch the uh, talk part, the guest talk segment we have with Kano Eiko coming up as well, too. Thank you. So thank you, both of you, for today.
Wow, that was there was so much info in that presentation. So uh, we have Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil uh, 25th year anniversary. So I think that next year will be a memorable and an unforgettable year for Resident fans of the Resident Evil series. So uh, more information will continue to be released on our official stuff, so stay tuned to that. Now, we have one more special piece of news to announce today, brought to you by producer Hiroyuki Kobayashi. Hi, uh, thanks you for having me. I am Hiroyuki Kabuyashi. So I hope you... Uh, so this is actually not about Village. This is about something completely different. That It's a surprise, and I hope you're excited to find out what it is. <laughs> so it's big news. What is it going to be? So, uh, so this is going to be the world premiere of this footage. Please take a look. Well, what, what, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will tell you. You know, this really surprised me. Is, is, that like a, is this going to be a drama or like a TV show? Can you tell us about this? Sure. So what you saw is a first look at an uh, episodic CG series of Resident Evil titled Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. Um, I have the pleasure of serving as executive producer. In terms of what it's about, the story revolves around two of the franchise's most popular characters, uh, Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield. So where was Leon fighting zombies and uh, what was Claire investigating? For now, it all remains a mystery. Oh, sorry, I think I got ahead of myself. Uh, where was Leon fighting zombies and what was Claire investigating? For now, it all remains a mystery. Sorry about that. I can't say any more. Sorry. So uh, TMS Entertainment is producing the series, while Cubico, which worked on the 2017 CG film Resident Evil Vendetta, is in charge of creating the full 3D CG animation. Next, we, let's take a look at this teaser image. Oh wow, he is. This looks so cool. I love this kind of dark feel of this. I'm glad you you like it. This here we have uh, Leon in a suit and Claire in a leather jacket. It's like a really striking shot of the two, huh? It's kind of rare to see Leon in a suit. And uh, this is a new outfit for Claire as well. I think she looks really good in it. Likewise, the uh, the background is really like. Really a Resident <laughs> Evil kind of background, huh? So uh, that was the episodic CG series, Resident Evil Infinite Darkness. It will be coming to Netflix worldwide in, yeah, worldwide in 2021. I hope you look out for more information. So uh, I guess there's still a lot of things you can't say, right? He's like, yeah, this is our first time revealing it, so we can't give away too much just yet. Yeah, that was really fun, right? <laughs> I'm excited. We've got some really cool visuals to bring to you.
So, uh, before we bring this to a close, do you have any parting words for our viewers? Yeah. I couldn't be happier uh, finally being able to announce Resident Evil Infinite Darkness to all of you. There's still plenty of work left to do, uh, but rest assured that we're doing everything we can to make sure it turns out great. So, uh, Right now, I can't discuss who the leading staff members or anything else about the story or characters, but we'll have more details to share in the future, so please keep an eye out for news on the official website and Twitter. Uh, info on the series and the video that you saw before will be available, uh, will be uploaded onto our website at 11 p.m. tonight, uh, Japan Standard Times. My time here today was short, but it was really fun. I hope I appreciate everyone uh, is so, uh, you know, I've been, uh, you know, I am a Resident Evil staff, so I am going to be celebrating this 25th anniversary um, with you guys next year. And I, uh, it's going to be a very, uh, this Infinite uh, Darkness is going to be a very memorable product for me as well. So um, I think I'm going to be able to release a lot of really cool stuff, and I think uh, I'm excited to see 